Okay, so day 48. Uh, a week today I will be doing the Ride to Conquer Cancer. Am I excited? Yes. I'm excited for the challenge to be over and to move on to the next chapter. Today's video is about building muscle. Thomas was saying to me that uh, I needed to, I was kind of like this, so I need to like stretch out, which totally makes sense now that I am like seven weeks in or something. Do the math yeah, about six six weeks. So feeling great, but yeah, you know, I just need to stretch it out. I need to build a little bit more muscle, and Tom's gonna help me with that. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you like the channel, hit subscribe. And hey, what was your biggest takeaway from today's video? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Comment below. Hey Jesse, as requested, I know that you feel like you're getting withering away with all this hard work you're putting in, all the miles that you're putting in on the bike, um, and that upper body's getting a little spindly. So I'm gonna show you some, some movements, which is just really simple you can do from home. Not even essential if you don't have a band, but I know you do, so um, this will help us with strengthening more like the back and the arms, um, which I think is vital with you being a cyclist, obviously doing a lot in this next kind of 60 days. Your chest and, and arms are always, like I said before, internally rotated, so we've got to really help open up and strengthen through the back. So I'll show you some movements. You should be able to get these done in like 10 minutes at home, and if you want to do more sets, you can. So. Really, what we want to start out with is just a real simple little bit of warming up. So we're getting into the upper body. Um, you can do some small circles. I'm a little sore from yesterday's rugged maniac. A few scrapes and bruises. But we're just warming up. Get the arms moving. Open it up. I'm going to then start going into some flexion and extension. Starting easy. Building a little bit higher. Try to maintain that neutral spine, keeping the glutes active and the belly button pulled in. And good. We're gonna add some rotation. So, simple quick stretch out, get straight to it. Now I want you to work flat sets on your push-ups with a row, first of all. So we're doing supersets, back to back superset. Um, we're push and pull. So, let's get right into your push-ups. I know you can confidently do around 20 push-ups. Um, I don't need you to max out, but I want you getting close towards that. So, um, I would suggest somewhere around that 18, 20 push-ups for you, Jesse. But technique is first, right? So, I'll walk through that. Right on the tiptoes, elbows kind of turned back towards you. Neutral spine, chin tucked in. And we're trying to dip those elbows down bringing that chest right towards the ground. Really use the ground. Okay, so I'm pressing my hands in, pressing every finger in. I'm thinking about driving that floor away from me. Nice and controlled push-ups, okay? So you're gonna crack out about 20 of those, or a few less if you've lost a little bit of strength in the last few days. I, again, don't need you to hit max, but getting close towards it. Now, a simple row um, for you, you know, you can make this even harder by standing wider or whatever, get some more tension on that band. But essentially, what we're doing is a little bent row. So, knees flexed, belly button pulled in tight, shoulders down and back, and then we're just gonna get a nice strong squeeze. So, up, flex that back, and release. Okay, so we're really working at that end range of motion. Release, squeeze. One more, squeeze. Okay, so I do around 20, 20 repetitions as well. Straight back in, another two sets, okay? So you're doing your push, your pull, three rounds each. Well then, I just chose the band with handles. It's not essential, you could use any band really, but we're gonna get a little bit of biceps uh, working in as well. Not that we need to do lots, but just to help keep a bit of a well-rounded upper body strengthening program. So we'll work some elbows in tight, supinated bicep curls, 15 reps. And 
Lovely cooking hot day out here. So once you've done your 15 reps there, we're coming straight into triceps. Notice my elbows will stay tight to the body and I'm just squeezing up. Release, squeezing up. Okay, so roughly 15 repetitions there. I'm just really working on that posture, right? Try to make sure you're not rounding through as you do that and you're letting the shoulders drop. You're always keeping that upper body nice and nice and strict posture, okay? Then we're gonna get a little bit of shoulders in. So, bands, always fun, nice and easy to do in a small space. We're gonna grab these guys, we're gonna do sets. So sorry, three sets each on the bicep, tricep, Jesse, just like with the push up. And now we're gonna do a little super set with a lateral raise, frontal raise, and then we'll finish on some rear delt as well. So, lateral, frontal, rear delt. So more like a, a fly like that, okay? So, lateral raise, bringing the elbows up and out to the side. Frontal raise straight up. And a squeeze in the back. Stand tall. Okay, now this, because we're supersetting, oops, sorry. Because we're supersetting, I would probably suggest you're only gonna get around six to seven of each of these before you really feel it. So do what you can. One more up and then out okay so now we've hit our shoulders biceps triceps chest back we'll do a little bit of core i know you already got a lot of my core exercises and workouts that we've done previously that you can obviously implement as well if you guys watching want to check any of those out have a little look in the link below we've done some really really cool core work with a few collaborations with some other amazing instructors as well so i'll just go through a couple of movements i want you to get going on jesse so not going to do too much forward flexion i don't want you you know um we're already going to be in that position a little bit with our with our bike with our, our lower back rounded a little bit so we're going to work on kind of making sure we're in a nice neutral position so a couple of things first of all your nice stationary plank position but on this one we're going to think about driving the elbows towards the toes and toes towards the elbows squeezing everything tight in between okay so i want you pulling and working at this really hard for a good 35 45 seconds something like that but make it make it really challenging for you before you fatigue turning into your side plank as you know elbow wants to be underneath that shoulder not too high we're gonna either brace it out nice and strong if you want to add a nice open chest reach rotate okay open chest about 10 to 12 and then hitting that other side i'll just show you a couple of them here open and then finishing up with our dead bug so i'm chin's gonna be pushed into the ground Pulling, 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 trying to keep that lower back as tight as you can. Really opening out through this hip. Okay, I'll show you on this side. So I'm lengthening, driving my heel, keeping that belly button in tight. And we'll go through about six to eight per side there. Awesome. Like, comment, subscribe. Good luck, bud.